Hello everyone, it's Alison again. Um, so I've put together another short video. Um, sort myself out. Put together another uh, another short video. This one is a sit to stand. Um, and if there's one exercise that I believe is probably the most important exercise that you can practice, it's the sit to stand. It's great for leg strength. There's a bit of balance involved. Um, and it's just really, really important. You can modify it as well. So you can make it a little bit easier. You can make it progressively more, more difficult depending on what level you're at. It's a really simple exercise you can do at home. All you need is, is a, a fairly sturdy chair. This doesn't work very well if you're going to use your, your favourite comfy chair or your couch because typically they are quite soft, your couch or your favourite chair. And it means that once that your, your, your hips, your bum is lower than your knees. So some of the technical aspects of, of doing this particular exercise are made more difficult if you sat in your comfy chair. So if you've got a fairly sturdy chair, like a dining room chair, which is perfect. I don't have a dining room chair. I'm going to be using this little coffee table here, but it serves the purpose. Right, so without further ado, here we go. So what I'd like for you to do, please, <clears throat> is sit on your chair. And I want you to try and sit as far forward on this chair as you can. The exercises I'm going to demonstrate now in the next few minutes are going to be fairly progressive. So feel free as we go along either to pause a particular exercise to practice or fast forward if it's too easy or even to rewind and go back and just do whatever level you believe that you're at. And if you can practice this exercise for two minutes in the morning and two minutes in the afternoon, you're going to find that you get pretty proficient at this exercise um, you get better and you're able to progress and you'll find that your leg strength improves so great for getting in and out of a car climbing stairs um, the curbstone easily getting up and down off the curbstone easily getting in and out of a chair as well so the more you can practice this the better you're going to become obviously um, you know you don't need to be a brain surgeon to to understand that so without further ado we're gonna i'm going to talk you through a few things so try if you're sat back in your chair all the way back here we're going to shuffle and you're going to use your bum to shuffle forwards to try and sit on the edge of your chair if you're sat all the way back on your chair you're going to find it virtually impossible to get out of your chair you're going to have both feet flat on your floor and you're going to try and keep your knees and your feet about hips width apart. So if I come round to face you, you can see that my knees, my feet are hips width apart. And I'm trying to, trying to maintain this parallel position throughout the exercise. I don't want my knees collapsing in. I don't want my knees coming out. I don't want my feet coming in. And none of this crazy nonsense. So we sat forward, got both feet flat on the floor. We've got that separation between our knees and our feet. And then we're going to shuffle our feet back towards our chair. And this helps with our weight transference. If our feet are all the way over here, there's no way you're going to be able to transfer your weight over your feet because your feet, are, your feet are too far away. So we shuffle our feet back. We've still got that separation between our, um, our knees and our feet. So if you've got arms on your chair, you can put your hands on the arms of your chair and you can use your upper body to help lift you. It depends on what level you're at. So if you've not done this before, then you might want to start off at the very uh, first stage, which is putting your hands on your chair. You can also, if you like me, if you've got a chair that doesn't have any arms on the chair, you can put your hands on the seat of your chair to use your arms for a little bit of a boost. But I'm going to start off with my hands on the side of my chair. And I'm going to sit up nice and tall. So I want to try and have a good posture and a good upper body. And then I'm going to come back slightly with my upper body because what I want to do is generate a little bit of momentum so that I transfer my body weight over my feet and my knees, which allows me, and I'm going to lift my bum just a couple of inches off the chair. And it goes something like this. So I'm going to lean back slightly. And as I lean forward, generating that momentum to press, lift my bum, and then lower back down. So you'll see how my head and my chest come over my knees and my feet. So let's try that again. Sit up tall. I'm going to come back, forwards, press and lift, and lower. 
I'm just lifting my bum a couple of inches. I'm not going crazy, not doing too much showing off at this stage. And again, so lean forwards, lift and lower. And again, we're going to come back. We're going to lean forwards. We're going to press, lift and lower. And one more for luck. We come back, lean forwards, press, lift and lower. And we can relax there. So if you can manage that several times in the morning, several times in the afternoon, then you're going to improve very quickly. So I'm going to show you how to make it a little bit more difficult and also how to progress because you will get to a stage where you think well, that's easy. What's next? So if your hands are on the side of the chair, the next stage is to put your hands on your knees and it's exactly the same. You can still press through your knees as you lift that bum just a couple of inches off your chair and it goes something like this. We're going to lean back forwards. We're going to press, lift and lower. Come back forwards we're going to press lift and lower i'm just going to do that one more time press lift and lower okay so harder it is it's harder rather than pressing through the hands or on the arms of the chair pressing if that is your limit today that's absolutely fine Excuse me a minute while I uh, tend to my annoying cat. Out the way, please. Thank you. Okay, so distractions to one side. <laughs> so I'm going to make it a little bit harder now. I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to ask you to lift your bum just a couple of inches off the chair. But this time it's going to be all legs. So you will need to press quite hard through the feet in order to get that set lift from the uh, from the bum, sorry, lift from the chair as you lift your bum up. And what I'm going to ask you to do is put your hands across your chest. So it's all legs. So we've maintained our position. We've got that separation between our knees and our feet. We're still sat up nice and tall. But our feet are still fairly close to our chair. We're going to lean back. We're going to lift, press and raise our bum and lower with control. We're not just going to drop into our chair. And again, lean back forwards press through the feet lift and lower and again come back forwards press through the feet to lift and lower just one more as we come back forwards press and lift and lower so just a very quick recap what we've done so far we've done hands on our chair with a lift and a lower or hands here with a lift and a lower we've done hands on knees with a lift and a lower, and we've done hands across our chest with a lift and a lower. If you can manage 10 in the morning, 10 in the afternoon, or two minutes in the morning, two minutes in the afternoon of those variations, brilliant. If you start to feel comfortable doing those particular exercises, I'm now going to show you a harder version of that particular exercise. Um, so feel free either to pause the video or to stop the video if you think what I'm going to do next is going to be too much for you. You can continue to watch and think, hmm, actually, I could probably manage that. So we're going to go all the way up. Let me show you how that's done. The start position is exactly the same. I'm going to put my hands on my knees for this one. So the start, that little lean back to generate the momentum to come forward, it's exactly the same. But what we want to do, as soon as we feel the bum lift off the chair, we want to squeeze our bum and drive our hips forwards. Okay, so give the bum a good squeeze to push the hips forward. So if you can generate some power to drive the hips forwards, you're going to project yourself upwards. And it goes something like this. So maintaining our position, so we've got a nice straight back, our legs, our knees and our feet are all hips width apart. As we come back, generate our momentum to Lean forwards to press, to squeeze our bum and drive our hips and we come up nice and tall. There we go. So the reverse. Now you shouldn't, if you don't move your feet, so you shouldn't need to turn around to see where the chair is if you've kept your feet in the same position. And what we're going to do is we're going to bend our knees, let our bum go backwards. That's the key. Let the bum go backwards, keep the back straight and you sat down. Let me show you that again. So we lean back, 
forwards, we press through the feet, we drive our hips forwards, we come up tall, don't move your feet, knees bent, bum back, nice and controlled as you sit back down. Last one, lean back, generate the momentum forwards to press and drive those hips nice and tall, bend the knees, bum back, nice and controlled, sit down. So this is strengthening the thighs, the calf muscles, the back of the thighs, the bum, there is that uh, element of balance as well. So a really good all round exercise. I'm gonna show you one final variation to make this a much harder exercise. So please watch, and then you can make a decision whether you want to try the exercise. Maybe not today, but maybe, maybe in the future, see how you feel. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand up all the way, and then I'm going to come down part way and then I'm going to stand up the whole way, come down part way. So my bum isn't going to touch the chair. Start position is exactly the same. I'm going to sit up tall. I'm going to come back. I'm going to lean, press and drive up. OK, so this is the change. So I'm going to bend my knees. My bum goes back, aiming for the chair. I'm not going to touch down and then I'm going to drive those hips forwards. Knees bent, bum back, lower, but don't touch. Drive those hips forwards. And again, knees bent, I'm keeping my legs parallel. Bum goes down, I'm driving up forwards. This time I'm gonna come back down all the way. So knees bent, bum goes backwards, nice and controlled. And sit back down. So, listen, there's lots more to build on when it comes to that particular sit to stand. But hopefully with this little video, I've shown you how you can progress, where to start. And it is important that you do have a place to start because if you have been unable to get out very much recently and then you're starting to think, well, actually, I do want to go out. I want to see my friends and my family, but you've been sat for too long through no fault of your own and you think, where do I start? Start with this exercise. Start with that little lean back, that little lean forward, lifting the bum a couple of inches and then lowering back down safely. You've got hold of your chair, you're in a safe space, you're in a safe place holding onto your chair. Practice, practice, practice. Practice in the morning, spend a few minutes. Practice in the evening, spend a few minutes and you will, you will get stronger and your balance will improve and your leg strength will improve as well. And then you've got those variations that you can build on as you get stronger. So I hope that helps anyway. You can contact me if you need to. You can contact me through this website. Um, take care. Thank you.